Greetings. I am Queen of Fua, and I am your spiritual guide on the Sacred Woman journey. I'm so happy that you're here, my Facebook community, my Instagram community, those who have been devoted with this work of Sacred Woman, Heal Thyself, City of Wellness, Man Heal Thyself, so glad that you're here in the circle right now. What we have coming up, and it's going to be a big affair, and that is the Sacred Woman Rites of Passage. The Sacred Woman Rites of Passage, the book that many of you have already in your home, is a guide to healing the feminine body, mind, and spirit. It is based on ancient Nile Valley teachings that from the beginning of time of antiquity to now, it is needed. The Sacred Woman work is based on this book and I take you through the gateways. And the gateways really reflect your inner spiritual anatomy. In your inner spiritual anatomy, you will meet Newt, the Universal Mother, and what she does is she helps you to heal your wound. So those women who are suffering from fibroid tumors, endometriosis, heavy bleeding and clotting, PMS, womb emotional trauma from relationships, that gateway will address those issues. The next gateway is the gateway of Newt. Newt is the word. What you say is what you create. And the word is medicine. And that word is called Ucha. That medicine helps to transform all of your energy centers. And we say Hekau, words of power, words of medicine. And so we will shift those words that create a toxic reality and take our words and form them into lotus blossom words that heal the sick, the wounded, the broken through our words. And some words have been traveling with us all of our lives. And in our subconscious, we keep on breaking ourselves down and attracting relationships that break us down because of the words that have been spoken as a child. We grew up with those words. So now it's time to shift. And so we say, take the words and make that word work and make that word magical power. That moves us into our ne next gateway. The next gateway deals with Ta'ert. Ta'ert is our mother of the garden. Ta'ert is the one who nourishes us through the garden foods. So in that garden, we will learn how to use food as medicine. Everything we eat has an impact, from celery for the nerves and the skin and the hair, to ginger for the circulation, to green foods to repair the emotional body, break the addictions. Everything that you eat in nature has a purpose. And we're going to delve into that purpose. And so we'll be eating from the garden to heal ourselves. This is holistic. This is sisterhood. This is transforming families. Not only are you going to transform yourself as a healing woman, a healed up woman, but you're going to also transform your family, your loved ones, your co-workers, your community, your friends and remove ourselves from sacred medicine, from sacred womb, to sacred word, to sacred food as medicine, and to moving forward. And that gateway is the gateway of best. And each of the gateways, these are indwelling principles, they have a glyph. And the glyph for best is a knife and a feather. You are learning to be your own surgeon, and you're cutting away corruptible matter and you're putting the feather to help you be a salve, to create a balance. And so many of us are stuck. We keep doing the same things all the time, and we keep getting the same negative reactions, and so we just gotta pick ourselves up and move forward. And then from best and transforming ourselves and moving forward and getting unstuck and getting unblocked and letting go of some relationships that are toxic and moving to healthier relationships and healthier ground, we move ourselves into Heteru. Heteru is about love and beauty. But in order to be a beautiful woman, you have to actually go to your inner child and meet her. And that inner child may be under a bed, in a closet, in a corner, in a shower, frightened, fearful. And that inner child grows with you. If you don't heal her, she comes with you as a teenager and you act out. That inner child comes with you as an adult and you have these relationships that keep breaking down because you're still hurting and wounded from her. So on this pathway, we go into our meditation and we meet her and we bring her up and we say, come with us, come with me. We're gonna heal on this path. 
And so you bathe her and you pray over her and you eat the foods that heal her and you comfort her and let her know there's another way. There's a way out and a way up. And then that beauty begins to come through you. You become beautiful because beauty is really from within. But we'll be teaching you, I'll be teaching you on ways of the beauty path according to our ancestors from the garments you wear, the colors that you wear, everything has a message to the stones, the crystals that you wear. All of that is a part of the medicine. And so we do head wraps, we adorn our eyes as our ancient ones, the shining beings, we wear our ucha, right? So we can remember to stay in our center, to stay in our seat of power. And so from that gateway of beauty, we move ourselves from Het Haru into Nebet Het. Nebet Het is the lady of the house, the heavenly realm. And Nebet Het has a secret for you. She has a treasure, and that is your intuition. One of the greatest gifts a woman has is her intuition. So when you actually can go inside and be still enough to ask any question in the universe, because you want to end the cycle and you keep on bumping up into the same conditions, you have to still yourself, go into your meditation, ask the question. And that first co that comes through, you know, we all have that intuitive mind. We see that first, but we don't, we ignore it often. But in this case, never had helps you to wake up awaken that intuitive power and you begin to see life from a very high clear place and then you follow and you follow and you start to see that I have wisdom now I can trust my inner spirit and so that is the lady of the house in the heavenly realm Nebit Het and she wears my colors my inner spiritual name is Nebit Het Mut Nebit Het mother of the spiritual realm purple is her color and every gateway has a color, has a stone, has a prayer, has a food, has a breath work. So you'll be learning an array of wonderful tools, over a hundred different tools, as you go through your gateways to heal yourself and all your relations. We move ourselves into Ma'at. Ma'at is about the feather. This is the feather, right? This feather is based on a whole nation. And it says that the feather, your heart must become as light as a feather. And that in that lightness, your heart must not hold malice. You say, how in the world? I'm angry at my mother. I'm angry at my father. I'm angry at my exes. I'm angry at my children. I'm angry at the people on the job. You're just angry and you're wounded. So now you're tipping the scale. My art also is about the scales. When your heart is heavy, you get a heart attack. You get a stroke. You get an aneurysm. You get pain. You get vexed. When you learn the principles of learning from every relationship, every relationship is a teacher. When you learn from the relationship, then you realize it was all a lesson. So you don't have to point the finger out. You can go within. Reflect on your lesson because you have a specific lesson plan why it happened over and over again and you can end the cycle asking a question after coming out of your healing bath and we'll be doing our healing baths on the journey. You'll come out of that healing bath with the answer. And the next thing you know, you end the cycle once and for all. You end the pathology, you're a new being. Ma'at, a whole nation was based on that principle, and that principle lives today, and it's within. And that feather is not only in the heart, that your heart becomes centered and balanced and in a state of harmony, but also your words. It moves us into the next gateway of Ast. Ast is the great mother, and this seat can be considered a throne, but really, the throne is not outside yourself. The throne, my beloveds, is in the ucha, in your consciousness. Are you able to stay in your throne if somebody yells at you or curses you or tries to put you down? Do you lose your cool? Do you lose your center? Do you lose your peace? Do you lose your power? Because that's what's happening. Do you lose your mind? Do you go crazy? Do you snap and want to get back at somebody? You're losing your power. The more that you can stay in that place of that power, the more prosperity will flow. So that is the gateway of us. Us also represents the balance between the masculine and the feminine principle that is left and right brain. The right brain is the feminine principle. The left brain is the masculine principle. When they intertwine, that's the sign of medicine. There's a oneness within you. And then the relationships that you have outside of yourself, they come into harmony. You come into balance. And you're able to sit on your seat of power because that's what Ash represents, returning to your seat of power. The next gateway is the gateway of Nefertum. 
And Nephritim is about coming out of the mud. But first you have to know that you're in the mud. Mud is pain, mud is suffering, mud is diabetes, high blood pressure, cancer, anger, rage, wanting to get back. That's the mud of life. But inside of that mud, there is a seed. It's a lotus seed. And inside that lotus seed, if you water yourself, if you fast, and all the sacred women are coming in, sacred women are making, we all do a seven-day fast together. For some who are more or very advanced, others will do seven days of live foods together in the third week of our journey. It's 12 weeks in the third week of our journey. And we do that. We start to really purge that heaviness. And you start to be like water. You begin to rise up. And when you come to the top of the water, you open up and you get a chance to blossom. We say lotus and you'll say blossom, lotus, blossom, lotus, blossom. The blossom means you're the full bloom of a woman. You're the full bloom of a woman. When you're full bloom of a woman, then you have a leadership. Then you can lead the people who are astray. You can lead their family out of disease. You can lead yourself onto higher ground. You can help your children the more that you can evolve, you can help your community. Then we have two more gateways. Now, after you reach Nefertum, that's the very last chapter of this book. This book was written in 2000. But 20 years before that, I was gathering. I was gathering the knowledge to give you this text that many women said this has become their Bible of women's healing, women's natural medicine, and it's interesting because I had two medical doctors who scanned the book to make sure that it wouldn't harm anyone <laughs> coming to the random house. Um, they wanted to make sure and everything was, was gonna be good with the healer saying these are the things that work, and then they work. We have two more gates. One is sacred time, cosmic time, Shashat. And cosmic time, I look at a day as a, day, a clock. A full season is one day. Four o'clock is Nebuchadnezzar's hour. That's when we rise up, we pick up our treasures so that we can womb fest our greatness over the days to come, over the season to come. And then we are at 12 o'clock, that's, that's us hour. That's when we womb fest the magnificence of what we received intuitively at Nebuchadnezzar's hour at four. So that 11 o'clock to that three o'clock, Things are coming to us. We are making connections. We are getting work done. We are creating our books. So much is happening during that time. That's the time of manifestation. A man is manifestation. A woman is womanifestation. And then at four o'clock, between four and six, seven, we go into ourselves, into Heteru's time, and we begin to beautify ourselves by taking our healing baths and our healing tonics and lighting our candle and doing our prayers and doing our womb yoga movements. All of that is that work. Then we have our final time of the, of the night, and that's Newt. And Newt is our universal mother. We go into her just like the sun goes in. And where's the sun at night? The sun is hidden in the body of Newt. And throughout the night, the sun is going through Newt and going through us. And we all, just like Newt, we begin to rise up at four in the morning. And then when the sun is rising, we already know our walking, marching orders, our moving forward, and we are in formation for ourselves. And day by day, you are in cosmic time, resurrecting yourself in the heights. Finally, we have Meshkinet. And Meshkinet is about being on purpose, being on your work, knowing your sacred work. Do you know your mission, why you came on the planet? I came on this planet to do this work as a healer. And you know what I call this era? I call this era the time of the healer. Everybody's looking for a way out, a way up, a way to heal themselves, a way to tap into natural medicine. People want to be self-reliant, self-sufficient. They want to be able to take care of themselves. So people are looking for herbs, and they're looking for plants, and they're looking for juice therapy, and they're looking for meditation, and they're, and they're seeking out yoga practice, and, and working in circles with others who are on a like spirit. Well, that's the work of sacred woman. Isn't that amazing? I've been cultivating this for 45 years, and I believe I'm creating through you a masterpiece. I'm creating through you a work of art, a work of beauty, a work of grace, a work of the healer within you. 
And so Mesh Connect allows you to listen to that inner spirit and over the 12 weeks begin to work on your website, work on your, your concepts, clean up your inner spirit so you can actually see, did you come here to be a teacher? Did you come here to give trainings? Did you come here to have a product? Are you here to go give out lectures? What are you here to do about wellness? Are you here to be a midwife, a doula? You will see what your mission is. Some of you are working in, corp in corporations, and that's your calling. Everybody has a calling, but be on your calling, and then you'll be on purpose. And a woman on purpose is a woman of joy, a woman of peace. And it feels like you're not even working. You're just living, and that's what you're doing. Those are the gateways.